Hi everyone. Let's talk about how to cover current affairs for the upcoming RBI examination. A lot of students have been asking me, sir, please tell us how to create the right timetable if we want to cover current affairs well in time for the upcoming examination. So here I am today and today I will be talking about this very topic, this very point of discussion, how to cover current affairs. I'm going to take current affairs for both phase one as well as phase two together. The reason is very simple because you cannot expect yourself to cover phase one, phase two current affairs after phase one. You do not have enough time. You have only 30 days time left after phase one. And in that time, you can only revise the syllabus as well as the current affairs and you can take tests. Therefore, it's advisable and it's wise on your part to cover current affairs now onwards for both phase one and phase two. How to do it? That is the point of discussion today. Now, what I have done, there are a total of three slides. So watch through the entire video if you want to be very clear about how to cover and what to cover. I've taken an example here to help you understand. For example, right now February is going on. PIB current affairs is the first priority for any student preparing for RBA examination. And one month of PIB magazine can be covered in a maximum of three days. If we can cover it in a lesser time period, the better for you. But a maximum time of three days is required or advisable to cover our PIB 247 one month magazine. For how many months you have to cover this magazine that I will be talking about very, very soon in the second slide after probably five minutes. The second priority uh, is RBI 247. One month magazine takes a maximum of two days. And topic-based current affairs, a maximum of two days for one topic. Now, this varies a lot because government schemes is a bigger topic, which has 400 pages worth of content, which requires eight to 10 days for one reading. Whereas if you're covering committees, if you're covering economic survey budget, probably takes about a day, not more than that. So you have to cover one topic at a time. That, please make sure of that. Plus a maximum of two days on an average to cover one topic under topic based current affairs. In March, because the examination is expected somewhere in April. So in March, instead of spending more time on covering PIB 247, RBA 247 and topic based current affairs, you keep spotlight as your first priority. Your first priority shifts from these three to spotlight in March. If the examination is to be held in April. If the examination comes to be held in May, then automatically the timetable shifts. You keep covering these three current affairs before picking up spotlight. One month magazine takes a maximum of three days, not more than that. And all of the above have to be given second, third and fourth priority as you have been covering here. Okay. So this is how you can divide your days to cover PIB 247. Topic based current affairs, RBA 247, and Spotlight. Please make sure not to try and cover all these in one day itself. A lot of students make this mistake. What they do is they will cover PIB 247 for two hours, then two hours they'll pick up RBA 247, then one hour they'll pick up topic based current affairs. That strategy works when you are probably six months away from the examination. But right now you are two months or a month away from the examination. In that scenario, it makes more sense to cover them day by day. For example, one entire day, I'm going to spend only on PIB 247. I'll try as much as possible. The second day, I'll continue. Third day, I'll continue. And I'll try and finish it up in three days so that I can pick up RBA 247 after that. That should be the strategy. That should be the attitude when you are very near to the examination. Okay. Ye ho gaya hamara understanding about how to cover them day by day, how to divide your days. I've taken an example here to help you understand uh, how you're going to cover it uh, right now. For example, February is going on and you're covering PIB current affairs. So the first thing that you have to do, of course, is uh, pick up monthly magazine. For example, February is going on, the monthly magazine of January is out. The monthly magazine of December is out. The monthly magazine of November is out. The magazine of October is out. So your first priority is to cover these magazines one by one 
month by month because your speed increases. The second priority is also to simultaneously cover daily PIV so that you don't have any backlog by the time you reach March. Right now, February is going on. When you reach March, you should not be in a situation where the entire February uh, PIV 247 has not been covered. You don't want to be in that situation. Therefore, let's say 18th February is today. So 18th Feb February current affairs you cover plus you cover 17th February. Okay, 19th February, let's say you reach 19th February, you cover 19th February current affairs. And if you have not covered the monthly magazine of January, then you cover monthly magazine of January, uh, 16 January, let's say. Or what you can also do is you can just remove these and along with covering your daily current, for example, 18th February, 19th February, simultaneously you are picking up January monthly magazine and you're trying to cover January monthly magazine along with coverage of daily February magazine. Okay, so you're pick, picking up daily current affairs of PIV plus you're also picking up monthly magazines of older months. RBA 247, you follow the same approach. Spotlight, uh, you have to cover monthly magazine of three to six months for PIV and RBA 247, eight to 12 months. And you follow the same approach in Spotlight as well. For 12th February, you first of all cover January entire monthly Spotlight plus you cover 12th February, the daily magazine as well. So what you're doing is you're not allowing yourself to create any backlog from daily current affairs plus at the same time you're also covering the monthly magazines of previous months. So that is the best strategy that you can follow. For March, you start with February magazine if you've not covered it already and you continue with daily March current affairs as well. Okay. So this is the overall strategy that you can adopt. Now, what happens is let's say now February is going on. So in February, uh, I just uh, guided you to cover PIB first, RBA 247 second, topic based current affairs third and only cover spotlight if it is possible. Therefore, in February, you might not be able to cover spotlight at all. Let's say you pick up spotlight in March, then you start with February magazine and simultaneously you cover daily March current as well. Once you're done with February magazine, then you cover January magazine, then you cover December magazine, then you cover November magazine. And in this way, you keep covering magazines one by one of previous months. Plus you keep covering your daily March current as well. So this is the strategy that you can follow to cover current affairs. Okay. I have also discussed this same, uh, this same uh, entire topic about current affairs and a lot more in my previous video of two months timetable for the upcoming RB examination. The link of that video is available in the description below. You can also go and have a look at that video to understand how to create a two month timetable for yourself, not only for current affairs, but also for a lot of other subjects like finance and management, ESI, English descriptive, how to start writing mocks, what should be the timetable for writing mocks, all these things can be covered there. Okay. Additionally, the revision series for RBA examination has been launched. With that revision series, I have also created a crash course with a daily timetable uh, wherein I'm also conducting classes. Uh, I'm also conducting classes on a daily basis to help you move with me faster to prepare for the upcoming examination. The link for that is also available in the description below. You can have a look at the crash course, which covers the revision series timetable as well. Let's move on topic based and monthly magazines. Jo hai, usme topics kya -kya hote hai, especially topic based current affairs. A lot of students have doubt about that. So what you can do is you can divide when you cover topic based current affairs, you can divide your day into two parts, morning and afternoon. In the morning, you can cover, start covering these. In the afternoon, you can start covering these because these are longer. These are smaller topics. So you can cover multiple topics in the morning and then you can pick up a bigger topic in the afternoon. You can also curate your own strategy. You can think, uh, cover one topic at a time and then move to another topic. You can, you can do whatever you want, whatever is more comfortable for you. Okay. Let me just tell you an entire list and exhaustive list of what all comes under topic based current affairs. We have the economic survey. We have the union budget. Both of the, both of these are already out. We have new education policy, Niti Aayog, MPI index, 
census 2011 very important every year there are two three questions from here one question from here at least one question from here i'm expecting one question from new education policy as well national family health survey periodic labor force survey state of forest report asar report aishe on all india survey on higher education sample registration survey 15th finance commission government schemes this is the most important maximum questions come from here you have indices and reports two to five questions come from here as well especially in phase one we have committees and then we have gdp focus the latest document of gdp focus is provided immediately before the examination okay and then you have pib current affairs rbi current affairs and spotlight these three are the separate magazines that you have to cover so the, this entire thing covers uh, current affairs you don't have to have to uh, go out of this and cover anything else at all if you're done with all these things then majority 99% of your current affairs needs are met then you have to just try and revise that you've read so that you can remember it you can recall it and you can use it in your final examination okay so this is about the entire topic based current affairs that you have to cover i hope it is clear with you so this is all about uh, our discussion on current affairs i'm very very sure that the timetable that i have created for you an exhaustive list of what all you have to cover and how do you cover monthly magazines how do you balance between pib rbi 247 uh, topic based current affairs as well as spotlight all that is clear if there are any doubts you can mention them in the comment section below i'll try and create more videos to help you understand and uh, bring more clarity on the topic of how to cover current affairs for the upcoming rbi examination i'll see you very soon guys take care all the best bye bye jai hind